A-Team is pretty similar across organizations. It's a recognition that everybody's on a learning curve, including you, and that your organization is a collection of those learning curves. And so when you understand that when people are first starting to work for you, they're at the low end of the learning curve, there's a lot that they don't know, they're gonna be slow, but there's also a lot of questions that they're gonna ask, like why do we do it like this? And so one of the tips I would say for you as you're trying to build an A-team is when you have brand new people, be willing to be open to the questions that they're asking and don't get annoyed or threatened. The second tip I would say is when people are in the sweet spot of their learning, where they know enough but not too much, make sure you keep giving them stretch assignments. Don't let them get bored, but also really appreciate them. They're not a problem child, so it's easy to just let them go. Appreciate them and thank them for what they're doing. And then you manage your people at the high end of the curve. And again, this is a nonprofit, this is a government, this is any type of organization. When they get to the top, recognize that you do need them to be an anchor for the organization. They're not necessarily going to innovate, but also understand that they can be there for a while, but then they're gonna to have to jump to the bottom of a new learning curve because they're a little bit bored and their brain isn't learning. And when you're not learning, you stop innovating. And so you learn, you leap, and you repeat, and that's how you build a learning organization, that's how you build an organization, regardless of the kind of organization that can innovate. I think one of the keys is, is that oftentimes cultures don't work when people feel like they don't matter, when people feel not engaged, and so one of the ways you build an A culture is to recognize that everybody wants to learn. Everybody wants to feel like they matter. And so if you're willing to make it possible for everybody who works for you to learn, then what you're saying to them is, you matter to me, you matter to the organization, I want you to live your best life, I want you to bring your dreams to work. Now, that's hard for you as a manager because oftentimes you feel like, I've got so much to do, I need you right where you are doing what you've always done. But when you're willing to put your people first before what you need to do, then you've started to create a culture where people feel like they matter. And every single time, if you feel like you matter, you're gonna show up to work and you're gonna wanna work there. And you're gonna wanna work for your boss because you know that they care about you and they're always gonna have your back.